I hope everyone is doing okay. I know right now it's just the craziest time. Um, I know a lot of us as hairstylists, makeup artists, nail techs, estheticians, um, we're all very, very impacted by what's going on right now in the world. And with that, obviously, most of us are probably very, very stressed out. And um, I can't solve any of those problems right now for you. Um, I'm in the same boat. I'm a freelance makeup artist and I'm completely out of work. So I have been utterly and completely stressed out. So um, I'm just going to touch on some internal things that can happen with stress that um, that we can be doing to kind of help manage our stress and help our skin in turn. Um, right now, um, during like a stressful time, um, the body releases more adrenaline and cortisol. Now this has a lot of effects in our body. And one of them is that it can slow down our digestion. So with that, um, slowing down the digestion, sometimes we the walls of our gut can become more permeable or even leaky. Um, this can cause a really strong inflammatory response in our bodies. So right now, taking care of our guts is like one of the most important things we can be doing to help with the effects of stress. Um, ways you can do that, obviously eating a healthy, ah, a healthy diet, um, plenty of fruits and vegetables. Um, I'm taking a pre, -bio pre, uh, pre and probiotic and um, I take fermented almond shots because um, I'm allergic to dairy. Um, so I can't take, I can't eat yogurt or anything like that. But those are things that if your stomach is okay with that, um, I definitely recommend doing. Um, that's going to also help our skin. Once we get a leaky gut, um, we'll see a lot of it in our skin. And I get a lot of it right around my mouth. So when I take my mask off, you're definitely going to see that I am having some of those breakouts. Um, also with adrenaline and cortisol, it can cause us to become dehydrated. And the reason being is that our body can't tell between emotional, physical, or environmental stress. So we start producing more, um, more oil and we kind of start sweating. So in turn, we can become really dehydrated. So make sure you're drinking a lot of fluids right now. Obviously that's really important to just keep your immune system up. But um, drinking plenty of fluids is going to help flush out any toxins, keep our skin clear, and then also help battle that dehydration from stress. And then lastly, um, because of all the adrenaline and cortisol in our skin or in our bodies, it causes an inflammatory response in general in our bodies. So if you pick at your skin or if you use too many harsh exfoliants right now on your skin, um, it's going to cause an even more strong inflammatory reaction and things are going to take longer to heal. So the best thing you can do, please, 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 and I am so guilty of it, and you're gonna see when I take this face mask off, um, don't pick your skin. Um, try not to use too many new products right now. Try not to over exfoliate. Um, just let your skin be calm and just like very soothing products. Keep it very minimal for right now. Um, also, one thing I've been doing that helps a lot because the cortisol levels are so high in my body because of the stress, I've been taking magnesium baths and magnesium has been shown to help lower cortisol levels. So um, that's another thing I've been doing every day um, and I do find it's helping a lot just with sore muscles from working out at home because I got time for that and um and just for kind of like soothing and like calming my body down so anyway with that being said you know meditation yoga lots of walks you know just everything we can do to relax our bodies from the outside in inside out <laughs> and um i feel so crazy with this mask on so i'm going to take it off all right so i'm just going to kind of rub in some of that serum now, if you guys have an oil available, um, I would recommend grabbing that. Um, I am using actually a serum, but it has oils in it. It's the Dermalogica Overnight Repair Serum. Um, this is like a very peptide packed um, serum, but it has, also has argan and roy, uh, rose oil. So um, this is just, it's got a nice light scent. It um, really massages well into my skin. So this has been something I've been using and um, it's been helping a lot. Um, yes, drink lots of water. Um, dry skin every day. Um, drink a lot of water. You might need um, a little bit more salt in your diet as well. 
Um, sometimes we, when we drink too much water, we can flush out um, the salt out of our system and then we don't retain any water. Um, I also use a humidifier at night and I do find that helps. So, all right, anyway, here we go. So first we're gonna start, um, we're gonna just do like a little neck stretch. So because we're on our phone so much, these, are, these muscles here are getting really, really tight on me, and I don't know, it's probably the same for you. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna pull down on my shoulder here, and then just lightly pull down on the top of my, like top side of my head, and I'm just gonna kind of stretch. And you'll feel it pull all the way into like the back of the neck here, the trapezius. Oh, it feels so good. Oh. So just do a couple seconds of that. And then let's do the other side. So nice and gentle, don't pull too hard, but just to where you feel that stretch. Oh, this side's bad. Oh. So once these neck muscles and these neck bands become too tight, a lot of times it can pull down on our jowls and we'll get a lot of these tight bands here. So stretching our neck and our trapezius is really important for anti-aging as well. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and roll our heads out. We're doing a lot of like looking down at our phones and we're sitting on our couches. Um, so our necks are probably getting really cramped. Oh, it feels so good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the facial massage. So I'm gonna take um, quite a bit of massage of the oil that I'm gonna be using. Hi, from Napa. Dermalogica, yes, I love Dermalogica as well. All right, so I'm gonna get a good amount here. And I'm just gonna start warming that up in my hands. You wanna have enough oil that you don't tug on the skin. So we just want everything to just glide really nicely. We don't wanna pull or tug the skin. All right, does everybody have their oil? Are we ready to go? So first of all, we're gonna just start with a light lymphatic drainage. So the lymphatic system sits right underneath the skin and that's where a lot of fluid and um, puffiness can come from. So we're gonna just really start with a light, light massage. Yes, yeah, so the next stretch is amazing. I love doing that throughout the day as well. So I'm just using really light, really, really light movement. I just need a little bit more oil. And you can do this all over the skin, your forehead, your neck. We're just kind of like activating that, that system. Okay. Sorry, I have notes here so I don't forget. So my skin is pretty reactive right now, once again, because of the stress that I'm under. Um, so I will get a little red, you'll see a little bit of erythema, um, but that's okay because I'm just getting blood flow, which is really great for the skin as well. Okay, so now make sure you get your neck. All right, and now we're gonna start with a bit of a medium pressure, um, medium pressure massage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an L shape with my hands like this. I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna kind of apply medium pressure and pull out. And then, remember those thumbs here? This is gonna really feel good under the jaw, especially if you hold a lot of tension in. And then one more round. Mmm. Feels so good. Now we're gonna take those fingers again and I'm gonna take them right under the cheekbone. So I don't know if you guys are having this, but I clench a lot and I can feel a lot of pressure under this muscle, under this my cheekbone here. Um, so I just give it a little wiggle. Under that cheekbone I'm giving it a little wiggle and then we'll do the same thing kind of just going up and out. I'm 
kind of going right on top of my eyebrows here. Okay, so next we're going to do kind of a face pull up. So we're going to take the palms of our hands. There isn't going to be any pressure in our fingertips. And we're just going to kind of start to pull up and then a little wiggle again. Oh, that feels so good. Make sure you get along that jaw there. And a little wiggle. I'm going to start back at the front here again. Oh, and one more time here. I feel so much pressure right there. Okay, and we're going to do kind of the same thing on the forehead. Just kind of go upwards and outwards. So now I'm going to do what I call knuckles and this is just going to really just help stimulate blood flow. It's just going to help loosen up the muscles in the face where I'm kind of holding a lot of tension. Um, so what do you do is you take the knuckles of your fingers right here and you're just going to kind of start to massage. Once again, don't go too hard, but just kind of like get in there. You're going to see some redness. Once again, this is great because it's stimulating blood flow and blood flow means more oxygen. This means it's flushing out toxins and it's also kind of stimulating the muscles and helping them be nice and strong and supple. So upwards and outwards motions. Oh, the forehead feels good. So you can definitely see I'm getting some redness, but that's good. So you know how after you work out, your skin gets really red. Like a lot of times after a hard workout, like a HIIT workout or hot yoga, you get really flushed. But then afterwards you get that really nice glow. That's what this is doing. Okay. So next we're gonna do a finger hook. So we're gonna take the fingers right here. So it's just gonna be these two knuckles here. And I'm just gonna kind of start in this sinus area. Once again, we are, you know, not once again, we are in allergy season right now as well. So we might be having some congestion in here. So I just apply it like a light pressure, kind of light to medium pressure. And then pull out. Oh. And you can kind of go up to the temples here, apply a little circular pressure, and breathe. And Forget to breathe. <laughs> Okay, and then the last movement we're gonna do is kind of a caterpillar, uh, caterpillar slash chipotment. So what I like to do is just kind of go with the fingertips here and I just start kind of caterpillaring like this, out and away. And this is super relaxing. Once again, this is kind of helping with the lymphatic system and it's just a nice light massage for the face. And you can do this up to here. So you guys can do this um, every night, every morning, whatever you prefer. I find I wake up pretty puffy. Um, so I like to do a bit of this in the morning and then a little bit at night um, just to help um, the absorption of my serums and things like that. Um, but it's just super relaxing and, you know, beneficial for our skin in many ways so if it's something that you can make a habit of now you know it can be really helpful and just do 
a light circular massage here. Just really, really light. This is kind of our cool down, if you will. And then I'm just gonna do one more. I'm just gonna kind of run my hands down this side of my neck. Stretch that out. And then the other side. Oof. Mm, little neck roll. Okay. So once you're all done with that, um, definitely put on, if you're going to bed at night, make sure you put your moisturizer on over. Um, one recommendation I did want to make, um, because we are spending so much time on our cell phones, in front of our TVs, just all sorts of electronic devices, um, make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Even if you aren't going outside, you're still being exposed to UV rays and blue light from you know these electronic devices. So please, please, please make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Um, once again, stress triggers that inflammatory response. Um, that combined with UV rays, um, pigmentation is gonna pop out if you have issues with that. So um, I've been using the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense. Um, this is formulated for UV rays from outside, but also blue light from our technology and things that we use. So um, definitely recommend that. Um, and then I wanted to just finish off everything with a little meditation, if that's okay with you guys. Um, I usually do this workout and the first time I ever went to this studio, at the end of class, you know, you get all sweaty, you're hot, you're like exhausted, and they have you like sit down and she has you close your eyes, and then she just like recites like a little quote out of a book or something, and I just found that helped me through such a tough time in my life, and I'm really sad that I can't go. So, I'm bringing it to you guys. So, um, first of all, just kind of shake everything off and breathe. And then just go ahead and close your eyes and you're gonna take your arms and just lift them up and breathe in. So big breath in and bring them overhead and then breathe out. And then one more time, breathe in, bring your arms up. Big breath. And then as you let your breath out, Bring your prayer down through the center of your body. And then you can lay your hands over your heart and keep your eyes closed. And I'm just gonna say this little quote. You only need to focus on one step forward. You don't need to conquer the entire mountain right now. You don't need to have everything figured out today. The only possible way to climb a mountain is by climbing it one step at a time. Don't think about the peak. Don't worry about what may come later. Instead, focus on one little step in front of you. The rest will come when it's time. For now, it's just one little step. So take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. It's just one step, just one day at a time. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to be hopping on um, Instagram Live as well to answer any questions. Um, but um, skin and um, I'll answer a couple questions really quick. Um, I've noticed that my skin is super tight and dry after I get out of the shower. Any recommendations? Um, make sure you're putting on serum and moisturizer almost as soon as you get out of the shower. Um, when I get out of the shower, I use um, a quick toning mist. Um, and then I make sure to get my serum on quickly and my moisturizer. So make sure you're doing that. You might also be using too harsh of a cleanser um, with too um, high of a pH that might be over drying your skin. So maybe try like a more gentle cleanser, even a cream cleanser. So anyway, I think, um, I think I got everything. So um, I'll see you guys over on Instagram Live and thank you for watching.